hey guys welcome back to the channel so guys in today's video we're going to be learning how to cut and sew this beautiful mono strap blouse which is basically a one-sided off shoulder blouse if that sounds like something you're interested in do make sure to keep on watching and let's get started so yeah like we've seen from the end results i'm making use of this floral fabric and the plain fabric that's what i'm going to be making use of to make this top so i'm going to start by drafting the bodies and this is the front pattern so i have my fabric folded in two the length of the top i intend making measures 21 inches i'll be adding one inch for hemming allowance and half inch for the shoulder seam that in total gives 22 and a half inches so i'm going to go ahead now to mark off the half inch for the shoulder seam place my tape at the half inch point and mark out my arm hole line which is basically my chest line so marking out eight inches right there i'm going to go ahead now to insert my shoulder 14 divided by two gives seven i'm also repeating that seven there just so it yields a straight line from the shoulder straight down to the chest line so go ahead and connect that with a straight line like so and the next now will be to insert like the neckline so for the neckline I'm making use of three and a half inches so yeah this particular top does not have like a perfect neckline so i'm just going to be drafting something like that just to have a guide does that make sense so the next thing i'll be to go ahead and insert my bust measurement my bust measures 34 34 divided by 4 measures eight and a half inches so go ahead and insert eight and a half inches right there and then you add one and a half inches of sewing allowance so the same thing for your waistline i forgot to insert the waist measurement sorry so my waist is at 14 inches so when do you just insert all your vertical measurements first so at that 14 inches point i'll be inserting my waist measurement my waist measures 26 26 divided by 4 gives six and a half and i'll be adding one and a half inches of sewing allowance then at the end point i'll be inserting my hip measurement my hip measures 36 36 divided by two by four sorry gives nine adding one and a half inches of sewing allowance i'm going to go ahead now to just connect those points together basically what you see me do connecting all the allowances together the next now will be to come down by one inch to create like the shoulder slant so you can see that i place my tape at the beginning of the fabric and not at that half inch line right so uh, the reason why i did that at the end of the day we still have our half inch of the seam, um, seam allowance i hope that makes sense so connect your armhole connect your shoulder slant and then you go ahead to just cut this out so now that we have this the next thing will be to work on the back pattern so for the back pattern i also have my fabric right here folded in two so the first thing will be to mark one and a half inches for my zipper allowance so marking is right there and then just rolling a straight line right there so to work on the back i'm going to be placing my front pattern exactly at that one and a half inches mark for our zipper allowance exactly right there and then i go ahead to basically cut out the same thing the only difference is in the armhole for the back you can see that that portion is straight because for the back we don't have that half inches that goes in does that make sense so now we are done with our main bodies the next thing now will be to create the main mono strap effect that's the one sided off shoulder effect to do that i'm going to make use of safety pin to hold my zipper allowance down and you're going to see the reason why i'm doing this so just make use of safety pin and hold your zipper allowance down like so exactly at that um chalk line that you can see right there and after you're done securing it you open up the fabric like so yeah but then you turn it to the wrong side just so you can open up the zipper allowance i hope you understand what i'm talking about so basically what you see me um, doing then you separate the zipper allowance just so it stays flat like so so to make this easy i'm making use of safety pin also to just hold the zipper allowance down like so just so it stays open so now i'm going to go ahead and place it like so and then i'll be placing the front onto the back right sides facing each other 
so now that i've done this the next thing is will be to determine what um arm you want the off shoulder to be so mine i wanted it to be somewhere there so i'll be coming down by four and a half inches so this depends on how off you want it to be so i'm just going to go ahead now and make use of my chalk to just like draw from that shoulder right there to that four and a half inches mark that i have right there basically what you see me do just like a free sketch freehand sketch and now at that point that we're going to be having the off shoulder i'll be coming in by two inches and yeah this is the reason if i don't come in by two inches that portion that i'm having the off shoulder effect is going to be too loose but since i want it to be like firm on me i have to come in by two inches so create your new armhole and then just go ahead and you cut it out your new armhole all through to the off shoulder neckline so basically and this is what you should have so the next now will be to go ahead now and hem the neckline of the front like so so for mine i'll be weaving it and then hemming it just so it i have like a neat finish while for the back it's all going to like say maybe like get rid of that pin that was there then you hem this portion separately and then to hem the other side the next kind of a bit funny so i'm just going to like reshaping it that way it's now easy for me to like hem and then i also go ahead and hem the neckline so after i was done hemming the neckline this is what i had you can see i went ahead to weave it and then i stitched it hence we have this very neat finishing so place it like so the next thing we to join your shoulder together and now i'm going to go ahead and work on the sleeve the length of the sleeve is measuring 12 and a half inches I'll be adding one inch of hemming allowance to create casings for elastic and half inch to join the sleeve to the top. That gives me 14 inches in total. And this is for the full sleeve, not for the off shoulder um, sleeve. So yeah, this is what I have. And for those that are curious, the width is measuring 29 and a half, but bear in mind it's folded in two. So 29 and a half inches folded in two. I'm going to be coming down by about three inches right there. And then with my free hand, I just create the curvy effect for the top portion of the sleeve and then I go ahead and cut these out and I'm also going to notch that portion just so it's I know um what point should align with my shoulder seam so you go ahead now and just fold that in two to create casings for your elastic and you run gather stitches at the top portion of the sleeve the next thing will be to work on the off shoulder sleeve. So remember the length of the sleeve you're working with is 12 and a half inches. So I'm going to be taking away two and a half inches. That gives me 10 inches, right? So to this 10 inch, I'll be adding one inch for the bottom, casings for the elastic, and one inch for the top. That in total gives 12 inches. I have my fabric measuring 12 inches like so. Yeah. So now to create the armhole effect on the sleeve, I'm basically just going to place either the front or the back pattern just so i have exactly the same shape i have on the sleeve on the top sorry onto the sleeve but then you ensure that you that one inch you gave for the elastic is just like left up there hope that makes sense go ahead and cut out the same thing like so so for this sleeve you basically hem the top and also hem the bottom to create casings for your elastic so I've gone ahead to hem the sleeves and you can see it's looking so neat. I weaved it and then hemmed it and now I have my casings for my elastic. The same thing for the other one. I've gone ahead to also run glass stitch at the top. So now the next thing will be to insert the elastic. So here yeah, to get the um, length of elastic I need, I basically just like wrapped elastic around my arm. And after I was done, I measured it and it was measuring 9 inches. So yeah, go ahead and cut it out and I'll be needing two elastics measuring nine inches for both sleeves while for the top portion i'm making use of eight inches for the elastic that's for the off shoulder part does that make sense so you have to insert this you'll be securing your elastic with your pin and then passing it through and once the elastic is true like all true to the end you're going to be making use of safety pin to secure that portion down just so the elastic does not completely pass through the hole does that make sense so you continue passing and once it's out at the other end you repeat the same thing securing them with your safety pin so this is the method you're just going to be using to pass in all your elastic to the bottom portion of both sleeves 
and after i was done with the sleeves this is what it was looking like i've passed the elastic in and this is what we have and this is the other sleeve this is what it's looking like also the next thing i will be to attach our sleeve to our top i've gone ahead to join the shoulder so now to attach the sleeve to the top you turn the top to the right side and then you place the armhole of the sleeve to the armhole of the top right side facing each other like so here yeah, connect it together and you stitch it down the same thing connecting the other part of the sleeve to the back portion go ahead sew and stitch it down so now for the other sleeve you kind of just sew that part that we rushed along the armhole of the top just ensuring that the part we notched in the beginning aligns with the shoulder seam and after i was done attaching my sleeve this is what it was looking like the next thing will be to go ahead and basically just close up the stop sew from the sleeve all through to the end the same thing on the other side making use of the allowance we gave that's one and a half inches on both sides and after i'm done i'll be sewing all around the top the end of the top after i was done joining and stitching the ends of the top the next thing will be to insert my zipper so you have to insert my zipper i basically like attaching my zipper in a way that it's facing downward so that basically do i just sew like two or two and a half inches down the top and then i go ahead to just insert my zipper and for this top i'm making use of this pink invisible zipper so go ahead and insert your zipper and after i was done this is what it was looking like looking so beautiful i hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful and regarding the skirt i paired it up with a tutorial is already up on the channel i'll be leaving the link in the description box below don't forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos